Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, yes, this is a, a Happy Meal uh, toy from McDonald's. Um, but it's one with a bit of a difference. It's, uh, it's to commemorate the, the moon landing. Um, which is, I think, quite, quite uh, noble of them in a way. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it's got Snoopy on it, but anyway, whatever. Um, but the reason I've got this, it was given to me by a friend of mine. Uh, she's, I was talking to her the other day and she said, uh, was I doing anything to, to, on the channel to commemorate the moon landing? And I said, well, I hadn't, I hadn't planned to, no. I don't have a model of a lunar land or anything like that. So she gave me this and said, and I quote, do something creative with that. So, <laughs> end quote. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to make a little something out of this to commemorate the lunar landing. So, let's get on with it. Right, let's see what we've got here. I love the way that there's usual multiple plastic bags. Um, now it looks like it is actually sanctioned by NASA. Uh, it has NASA logos on um, both the, the craft and this bit of card. Um, so basically the way it works normally is you put this uh, in there, you slot that into the top, you pull and this bit spins and it has little prop blades on it and it flies off. We're not going to use this or this or this. So that will go, all go to one side. So what we're going to do, what we're going to use is this. Now this is obviously intended to um, uh, bear a resemblance to, I'm assuming, the, the booster rockets from a, the, the space shuttle. Um, what that's got to do with the moon landings, I'm not entirely sure, but there you go. Um, <laughs> made in China, there's a surprise. But, so I thought we'd use this, we'll repaint it and do a few bits to it. Um, but I've got some other stuff as well. I thought we might do a little bit of kit bashing. So we've got this. I've also got this. Uh, now this is um, a fuel tank. I think it's a fuel tank. From, I don't actually know what. Uh, this came out of a box of bits that was given to me by an acquaintance of mine. And I thought what I might do is see if I can... Uh, I'm going to line it up so you can see what I'm thinking about. But basically put like a nose cone on it. Like that. Um, so we'll use that. And I've also got here uh, some other bits um, that have come off various different models. So there's a couple of exhaust manifolds there we might stick on somewhere. Uh, that's the hatch from the uh, Cromwell that I built a little while ago. I thought I might see if I can put that on somewhere, but it's flat, so I'm not quite sure if it'll work. Uh, these are a couple of... Um, exhaust nozzles off of something and I'm going to see if I don't know how well they'll go on the bottom there they might do something and the other thing I've got which I thought I might put on is this now this is from the Thunderjet that I built quite a while ago now uh, the Thunderjet came with some photo etch parts that were designed to replace the plastic parts obviously they came in the kit so it did have the plastic parts so this is the air brake but I thought it might make a nice little hatchway or something. Um, so we might use that. And I've got a big box of other bits. We might put some other stuff on it as well. So let's uh, chop things around a little bit and um, add some bits and take some bits away and clean up some of these awful seam lines and see what we can make with this.
Right, while we're waiting for everything else to dry, uh, we'll start on the base. Um, this is uh, a base that I 3D printed. Um, this is eventually going to go inside a bell jar. And so I printed this base that, to fit inside that bell jar. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of filler, uh, mix it with a few other bits and pieces and put it in here to give us a little moon base. So I've got here some uh, ready mix filler, so we'll use some of this. This is uh, tile grout, so I'll put some of that in um, to give it a bit of texture. And I've also got these, these are um, granite chips, they're road scalpings. They use them when they're uh, resurfacing roads, uh, but they'll, make, they'll be handy for some little rocks, so I'll put some of them in as well. Right, we'll just smooth this out a little bit and uh, put some textures on it. So as I mentioned earlier, this is tile grout and it's a really fine powder. Uh, so you have to be quite careful with it because it goes everywhere. There we go. And these are our granite chips. So we'll just put a couple on just to give us a couple of uh, bigger rocks. That'll do, I think. Now we can just leave that to dry. Right, this has had a chance to dry now, so what I'm going to do is just make sure everything's sealed down by putting some scenery glue on it. Now we'll just leave that to dry as well. Right, this will be our first uh, colour coat, a nice medium grey. We'll put this on with the airbrush. Right, now we'll leave that to dry. So what I've done here is, when I finished with the grey, instead of cleaning the brush out, I just added a couple of drops of white to make a very light grey, and what I'm going to do now is kind of highlight some of the uh, lighter areas. There you go, and that just uh, kind of stops it being quite so uniform. So now I'm going to seal that with some uh, gloss varnish, and then when that's dry we'll put uh, an oil wash over it. Right, so now I'm going to use these uh, Crawford and Black oil paints um, to make a little bit of a wash. Right, now we'll dry that off. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a really, really light dry brush with the white oil just to pick up a few of the highlights. There we go. Now we'll dry this off and we'll give it a coat of varnish. And for our varnish we use this uh, Vallejo matte varnish. I like this stuff. Right, we'll let that dry and I think that'll be us done. And here is the finished article. Um, this was a fun little build actually, it was you know nothing too serious, just taking a, a, a toy and turning it into something else. Uh, a little bit of kit bashing, a little bit of painting. Uh, it does still operate, you can take the nose cone off and you can still, uh, still fire things off the top of it, so there's that. Um, but obviously the main purpose of this was to, uh, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Um, you know, when you think those guys went to the moon in something not much more sophisticated than this. <laughs> um, there's actually more processing power in a pocket calculator uh, or in your mobile phone nowadays than in the computer that, that took men to the moon. Um, so yeah, just a, a little homage to uh, the men and women, of course, of uh, NASA, who uh, basically went to the moon on a shoestring. So... Yeah, anyway, I hope this was of uh, some interest to some of you, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.